Here's something to be aware of when using almost any digital audio editor. It's true of Audacity, Logic, Pro Tools, Cubase, anything else you can imagine. Peak, almost all of them use a shortcut in displaying the graphics that is a bit misleading. Let me show you what I mean. Let's generate a sine wave at 20,000 hertz in a 44.1 kilohertz project. If we zoom in to the sample level, the graphical display looks jagged and horrible. It looks even worse in some other programs. But if you were to play this back and view the analog output of your sound card on an analog oscilloscope, you would see something much closer to a perfect sine wave. I don't have an analog oscilloscope available at the moment, but I can simulate what it would look like by exporting this wave at a much higher sampling rate. So first we're going to set the project rate to 10 times the sample rate that this was generated. Now I'm going to export this wave to reconvert the sample rate. If I open that file at this insane sample rate, you'll notice that it actually has the proper sine wave shape. It's only a display issue that brings about the jagged lines or the stair stepping. Now, sometimes having too low of a sample rate actually does cause problems, but usually this happens with faulty equipment. It sounds like what happens when you deliberately bit crush a signal. It does not sound very good. That sound is called aliasing, and it happens when there's a problem with the digital conversion process, or again, if you deliberately introduce those sorts of problems. But that's not the same thing as what you see on an audio editor.